Another feature that every great delay in the world had better have is a width knob. And this will be real short and sweet and to the point. All right, so I've got Boss Digital Delay here on my synth. I got a little corny thing. I, I had something else I was doing. I switched to the synth for some reason. Anyway, let's hear it without the delay at all. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and solo up this delay. I think it'd be e or the synth. I think it'd be easy to hear this. Okay, here's what the delay on no width. All right, here I'm gonna crank up the the width in mid uh, chorus, I guess. And now, it's easy as that, folks. The width goes way wide on just the the, the wet, just the delay parts. I found this to be very very useful for uh, whenever you want the 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 stereo ness to the, the actual taps of the delay to be wider than the monitors. And a lot of times it makes this, it gets kind of jumbled up there on the left side and right side. Uh, it could be because I'm an LCR mixing advocate and maybe there's not as much room there. So it's kind of handy sometimes have that width to go way wide. Of course, you got to be careful because you can easily overdo this width thing and uh, in, in mono or whatever, you, you can lose them. So be careful with that. You might have weird effects in the card too. So always, always double check that. But a width knob that goes from nothing to something. Easy enough. Of course, I've got it all the way up and all the way down. Actually, you can go go the other way and go mono. I found it to be very, very, very handy, and I wish every delay had it. And that's why I griped and griped and griped until Boz made it. Thanks, guys. Bye.